So, um, I met her when I went to uh, give Charlie Boy Imoni's wedding invitation. What? Yes. So she was working with, she was in IT with um, um, Nigerian. Nigerian. Right, right, right. So she was on IT move and I saw her. And immediately I saw her, I was like, I want to marry this girl. <laughs> I told Presh, that's my wife. Presh was laughing. And I woke up to her, and I'm not joking. I was like, may I share my brother's wedding invitation? I will try to invite you if you come. But meanwhile, I want to marry you. You look like the kind of woman I would like to marry. She was laughing. God knows how, that was what I said. And she didn't want to pay attention. And at the time, she didn't know it was me. She didn't know it was Casey at that moment. And she was paying attention to her job. I tried to distract her, and I was like, okay, can you give me your number? She refused. Finally, one girl with her was like, ah, it's Casey now, give her. So she gave me her number. We started talking. And I was like, I don't want to date you. I want to marry you. If I date you, that means we will not get married. Oh, wow. Because, yeah, the truth is this. Sometimes we make a lot of mistakes. Some people date their husband or their wife and start looking for faults. And you dump your husband or your wife looking for something else that you don't know. Because some of those faults you're finding will still be in the marriage. So sometimes look for friendship and look for that thing that makes you happy. First of all, Igbo people say in January, you eat with your eye. If you see what you like, whether it's a male or female, you like it, go for it. Know who the best was. So when I told her I want to marry her, she thought I was joking, but I meant it. And she refused to listen to me. This thing happened November 3rd. My brother's wedding was November 7th. December, first week of December, I was in a house, family house. Like, I want to see your mother. She thought I was joking. The mother saw me. The mother knew me. Oh, Casey, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not sure the father will accept. This girl just enter in a lag, year one. <laughs> I don't think the father will accept. I say, I will wait for her to finish school. I just want to marry her. I don't know her. I don't know anything about her. And she thought I was joking. December, the father now, the mom said, come and see my husband. Uh, December 20th. I went with my father, my mother, my uncles, my siblings, e money. I had like 20 cars <laughs> in Okota. The father locked the gate. What's happening? What's going on here? I'm not doing any traditional marriage in my house. I say, come and see me. Which way you pack your generation? Come. You know, but I needed to prove to him that I wasn't joking because I know the way they were looking at musicians, you know, so, and it took a while before he opened the door and we came in, my father told him who he was, he made phone calls because we are from Anambra, he started calling the village, no, do you know any family from so, so, so place, the father is that strict and they said so before he now gave us drink wow. to listen, he was that strict and after that meeting, that was it. They knew I was serious. And I, I didn't waste time. January, I took her to Dubai. I engaged her. I bought one big truck for her, taught her how to drive, sent her back to Unilag. She couldn't even drive. She packed it. I always stayed. <laughs> you understand? But I was doing everything to make her understand that. Yes, I wasn't yes. buying her love, but I want, because musicians will get too much drama. Some people want to, most of those ones that want to come in, some of them are coming in because of that fame or whatever. If you like, come after me, no problem. Some are coming for you for real to be serious. Sometimes we don't know, but she was running away. I was coming, she was running. I said, I'm going to catch you. And I did everything I could and I held. And trust me, we've been married for 14 years and about Incredible. six months now. We've never had a quarrel. Incredible. I'm not joking. Like, she has never left my house for one day, say, let me go and tell your mother, say, or go and tell her own mother. Never. God is my witness. That's incredible. Never. And how it happened, I don't know. So now it's stronger. Yes. You understand? So she's a friend. I can tell her anything. If, I, if, I, if a girl send me a message and I can show her, we are that close. I'll be like, hey, see that girl with this girl? If I catch her, man, she will be like, you, you too like, we play about it. Now, it, it has helped.